Today we are working on a 2002 Mercury Mountaineer with a 4.6 liter engine and a little over 57,000 miles on it. The owner's concern is fuel mileage. The mileage noticeably drops whenever the check engine light comes on and the computer has stored a PO401 code. Trouble code PO401 means the PCM has detected a low flow condition in the EGR system. When this code sets, the PCM will run the fuel system richer, which will help prevent engine damage from pre-ignition and the formulation of NOx. This code can mean a number of things. The EGR passages are restricted, the EGR valve is not functioning, there's a faulty solenoid on the EGR valve, and on some makes like Fords and Mercury's, the Delta Pressure Feedback EGR, or DPFE sensor, fails. Okay, the first step is to verify the code and check our parameters on the scan tool. Look at that, the PO401 code is stored and the DPFE sensor reading is at 1.97 volts. The spec for this vehicle is 0.8 to 1.2 volts and at 1.97 we're way above specification. Just so you know, the range on some Ford vehicles is 0.3 to 0.7 volts. The next step is to verify that the DPFE reading that we're getting is the actual amount that the sensor is sending to the PCM. To remove the engine cover, use a quarter inch ratchet with an extension. Finding the sensor is easy on any Ford engine by following the tube to the sensor, like this. You'll need to back probe the signal wire of the DPFE. Pinout diagrams are available on our website for most popular components. On this vehicle, it's easiest to remove the connector to insert the back probe. You'll need a strong thumb to release the latch on this connector. Try to resist using a pliers, you can easily break the latch. After the back probe is in place on the connector, reconnect it to the sensor and connect your DC voltmeter to the back probe. Turn the key to the on position and read the voltage. We are reading that same 1.97 volts. Now disconnect the connector and probe the other two pins to check reference voltage. This voltage should be near 5 volts. We are reading 4.95 volts which means the reference voltage is good and therefore the DPFE sensor is defective because it is putting out a higher voltage than specified. When replacing the sensor, Carefully release the hoses connected to it by twisting the sensor like this. No, 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 not like this. Do it like this. If these hoses split, they'll need to be replaced with the correct heat-resistant replacements. Be sure to line up the port sizes with the correct hose and push the sensor down into place. Retest the signal voltage on the new sensor. Okay, as you can see, we're now within specs at 0.8 to 1.2 volts. Clear the trouble codes, fire it up, take it for a drive. Here's your chance to win a prize. Remember, you must go to our website to submit your answer. Today's question, what causes blower motor resistors to fail? Is it Debris blocking the vents, a restricted cabin air filter, a blower motor drawing too much current, or all of the above. Remember, you have to be a subscriber. You can do that right here, right now. Then go to our website under the tech section, fill out your email address, and answer the question. The question will be answered on our next video. In the meantime, see you again next time on the Wells Garage.